Hey there folks and welcome back and this is going to be one of those soapbox sessions so if you don't like that sort of thing just walk away. Um, but what I'm going to be using today was a Christmas gift that was sent to me by uh, Beaver Woodwright, Kelly from Beaver Woodwright. This is uh, Jolly Roger which was a, a limited edition for the holidays and it says um, it's blended cardamom, oranges, rum, anise, ginger, and cinnamon and I gotta tell you, it's a very nice blend. It's it's unusual because I've never um, really experienced a Christmas type scent like this, which I like a lot. Um, and I don't pick up a lot of the anise because I'm not a big anise fan, so that's very very good for me. It just comes together nicely, and I pick up a lot of the orange and um, uh, predominantly, I think, orange and cinnamon, which is a really good combination in my view. So thank you very much, Kelly. I appreciate this. This is the first new shaving product I think I've had for months because I quit buying uh, shaving product. I mean, I spent money like a drunken sailor for close to three years and I finally just said, you know, enough is enough. I got enough stuff. In fact, I got rid of most of it and I've just been using what I have and really focusing on enjoying the shaves, which I have been. And, uh, but this was a nice surprise when I got back from visiting down south. So thank you very much, Kelly. Uh, it wasn't solicited and he didn't ask for anything for it. It was just a nice gift and I do appreciate it. I don't know if it's still for sale. It was limited, so it may or may not be for sale. But of course, if you've tried Beaver Woodwright, you know they have good soap. So stop on by there and uh, check them out. All right getting a load on here and today like I said we're gonna get on a soapbox so don't be afraid to turn away if it's not for you and I think what I'm gonna do in this particular video is talk a little bit about what's happened in 2015 on the shaving scene and, and maybe some other things and I'm using this brush here the satin tip for a reason which I think I paid 15 bucks for and I'll get to that in a minute oh this smells nice looks nice too the, the uh, can see the lather there building nice shiny hydrated good stuff okay let's wet the face and get going stand by all right so 2015 in my estimation as many people uh, rightly predicted was a year where aftershaves really took off we saw a lot of vendors making aftershaves which is great I am a guy that's all for competition and the quickest way you can lose my business, well, back when I was spending a lot of money, is to be, is to balk at competition. And there are some vendors, at least two that I can think of, that through their behavior showed that they were either afraid or not willing to compete. And I kicked their gear to the curb, stat. When I see a lot of balking, about, you know, this, this product is like that product and talk of lawsuits and consulting legal, you're out. Got to go. Uh, now, keep in mind when I'm speaking to the audience here, I'm speaking from my perspective here in America. And we are all about competition in the marketplace because competition, it's almost universally, universally agreed keeps prices in check. The more options you have, the better prices become. So, um, give you an example here. When the Plasan type knot originally came out and Plasan had sourced it, it was 80 or more dollars, I think, for the least expensive one through Plasan Direct, but L'Occitane, the branded ones, were originally $60. Then later they cut that in half. Um, some months later, and I think it was in 2015, people started sourcing Plasan-like knots, I assume from China or somewhere in Asia, and they were able to bring Plasan-like brushes to the market for cheap. Some of them as cheap as 20 bucks, like the uh, Sterling Kong, which is a great brush for the money. There were um, brushes 
that uh, were brought to the market by Razor Rock, which I haven't tried. I should, but I haven't yet. I'm going to have to get my hands on one and try it because they've been well received. There were the uh, Shave Revolution brushes that Justin sourced. And there were all sorts of brushes that were brought to the market that were very affordable. And they were all based on that Plasson style knot. Hold that thought. So we had lots of Plasson style synthetic knots that came out and I did not hear one person, not one, jump up and down and go, oh, they're killing Plasson. It's not fair. It's just like my knot. The brush is just the same. We're gonna consult legal. I didn't hear a word from L'Occitane. I didn't hear a word from Plasson. And the consumers benefited from that greatly because they were able to go out and get these brushes which perform phenomenally for a phenomenal price. No one balked at that whatsoever. No crying, everybody was just buying them up and they're still buying them up. They're still flying off shelves. No complaints, why? Because prices were down. That's a great thing. So you see these other razors, for example, that come to market and they're more than $100, $150 more, depending on what you get. There's no competition for them. And then when Joe from Razor Rock came to mind, uh, talked about bringing a competitor, I saw a lot of balking, and that was it for me. I'm done with it. Now I think I saw the Evans Brothers, Kyle, um, came out with, I think it's called Colonial Razor. I haven't looked into it yet, but looks like it's a single edge and I say great job um, Evans Brothers and good luck on that. I welcome as a consumer that type of competition. It's good for us. We're not stuck paying premium prices. Now I don't want to know what the price of that razor is but what I do know is as more people develop those style of razors the price will go down. And if you're the only kid on the block selling that style of razors, and you might not like the fact that competition is coming and it's going to drive you to either keep your price where it is and make a premium product and improve it, or drop the price to run with everybody else. For the consumer, it's a win-win. The only person that balks at that is one who doesn't want to compete. And in America, we're all about competition. It's just, it's in our blood, or it is for most of us, I should say. Stand by. Soap is working very well, by the way. Smelling nice, working well. At any rate, point is, I'm not fooling around with these jokers that don't, that balk at competition. And I want to applaud all the folks, Justin from Shave Revolution, Joe from Razor Rock, the Evans Brothers, all these folks, the Clarks, the, the Wolf Whiskers, all these folks, uh, Doug Smythe, for sourcing these Bassan-like synthetic knots and bringing us affordable options. Because you got to understand, not everybody can afford, you know, super expensive gear. Now, I also heard the comment from one company that our product was not meant for everybody. That, you know, well, that's all well and good, but sort of an elitist point of view, in my estimation. It's true, but I wouldn't say that as a business owner. But they're free to say whatever they want. I'm not fooling with them. Bottom line is this if you're anti competitive, if you balk and try to stifle competition, you're out with me. I do want to get to another topic of conversation since we're talking about brushes. This one, the sat tip happened to be 15 bucks. And it will work as well as any badger. And I don't care if you spend $200, $300, I don't care what you spend. My biggest regret in this hobby is all the money that I wasted on badger brushes. And I'm just gonna, I know some people aren't gonna like that, but it is what it is. I wasted thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars on badger brushes before I discovered you could spend a fraction of that on synthetics or bore and achieve the same purpose. My advice to new people, 
Don't be snookered or hoodwinked into thinking you need a premium $150 plus Badger brush that's two band, three band, 100 band bands. Makes no difference. It looks different. Some say it's a little different. Can you make a lather with it? Sure, but I can make a lather with that $15 brush. It's just as good. Don't be snookered by it. Don't fall into that trap. Now, who are those brushes for? If you want a Badger brush, you like the feel of Badger, and you like the great handles like MF produces or you know Simpson Special Edition, beautiful, beautiful brushes, beautiful craftsmanship. Sure, go ahead and knock yourself out. But all this stuff about two bands, like it's going to produce a better result? I'm sorry, it's not. It's just not. I've been there. I bought every premium brush there were up until last year, um, other than Shave Mat, or excuse me, um, oh, the one up north, Savile Row. And I have my suspicions about Savile Row, which I, I won't air, but if you look at Savile Row brushes and you look at some other German manufacturers, you'll notice a lot of similarities there, and I'll leave it at that. Bottom line is this. Don't be snookered. Don't be hoodwinked. Buy yourself the, some of the finest bore brushes available can be had for between $20 and $30. Buy yourself a bore, break it in, and save yourself $100, $150. $150. Now, if you're a hobbyist and you want those super high-end badger brushes, by all means, knock yourself out. But I'm talking to new people here when I say there is no... Um, you're not going to get anything extra out of spending that kind of money for a badger brush unless you just like the way it looks. That's that's the bottom line. I'm going to take a Nick Shaves type uh, cleanup pass here just because I'm on a roll babbling today. So. Wet the face a little bit here. And what he does, if you've never seen it, is he'll take sort of the remaining lather and just sort of feel around for any remaining stubble. And it's a great technique. And I'm not saying he invented the technique, but he's the first one I saw using it, so... He's who I credit with it. And Mark Gurgis from Australia saw doing it as well. Very good technique. Because you can feel a lot of times better than you can see. You know, any stray whiskers. And Once again, I'm using the Fat Boy. Love it. Uh, yeah, working well. So, to sum it up here, we're all about competition. And we love these new brushes and razors that these folks are bringing to the marketplace. Let me rinse and we'll come back and get into the post here. All right, we're going to, of course, do our Thayer's pages because it's magic made by witches, of course. And again, I'll keep saying that because it's true. Well, not really, but close enough. Uh, by the way, the soap by Beaver Woodwright worked very well, smelled great. The brush, the satin tip here, which I bought for, I think, 15 bucks. Excellent. Works just as well as any $150 plus dollar badger. Guaranteed. May not look the same, may not feel the same, but in terms of what it can do, it can do the same thing. All right. We're going to also dive into the aftershave sent to me by Kelly, which is in a very nice bottle, and it's got a um, wax seal here, so I may have to stop the camera to get that off. Do not know. Um, the ingredients, alcohol, witch hazel, aloe vera, water, vitamin E, glycerin, and the fragrance oil or essential oil. Good stuff. Now it looks like I'm going to be able to get that off relatively easy. Really nice touch with the wax seal there. Um, Kelly uh, for Beaver Woodwright is a really nice guy. Got a chance to talk to him uh, a few times a few months back and I found him to be just a really nice uh, individual so definitely support him if you can and the bottle here has a cork like top which is a again another nice touch let's shake her up a little bit it does have a restrictor in there so let's see what we do what we can do with this let's see how oh yeah and this matches the soap very nicely. So what I would say, guys, I don't know if this is available, but if you're looking for a holiday set, this is a great one. One of my favorites. Um, and I'm not saying that just because 
It was sent to me as a gift. Um, the fact that it's got that orange, cinnamon, cardamom, I think it's an excellent combination. So if you can't get this this year, perhaps he'll make it next year. And this is, this smells really good. So very happy with this. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, I really appreciate that. Certainly has brightened my day and um, I really appreciate it. So thanks everyone for sticking with me. Thanks for putting up with the Soapbox Session Episode 2. You guys have a wonderful day.